Welcome to another video. You are here today because you have problem with your bike. And no matter what you've done, you cannot get it to work again. In the past two years, I tried to fix the van move problem. But problems, they keep coming. For people who doesn't know me, my name is Raz. I uh, own few van move bikes. I also am an uh, engineer, electronic engineer, and in the last two years, I've been repairing van move components. So I'm going to explain you the van move problem in a short video, and maybe, and I'm hoping everyone will understand. So van move bike is made of two major components. So this is the smart unit, the module or the brain, whatever you want to call it this it has its own power if this is yeah so it has its own battery its own thing so this is a separate unit that connects to the main battery yes so we have a battery and we have a module a brain a smart unit most of more expensive bikes they have these two components but there is two types major one with his own power that's more complicated because this battery needs to be topped up in order to work so this is one type the other type is just a simple controller that you will be powered up by the battery and it will work as long as you have power in this battery and you turn the power button your scooter your bike your you have it will power on and it will work. The controller type is much easier, less complex, and the less failures will occur. If you have this type, which it has its own battery, its own thing, it's a bit complex. And now I'm going to explain you why your bike is always dead and it always has errors. In T23, I think in the summer, Van Moof, they made an... Uh, update to their bikes and i'm not sure but maybe some of you can help me these updates they put on all their bikes this last update it kind of disconnected the main battery so what this update does it will install it will get installed into the bms of this battery and when you turn off your bike this battery will hibernate means that you will be completely shut this is a good thing so you will preserve this battery for longer but in reality is not a good thing because once you shut down this battery and you put it to hibernate this module it has a gsm it has a bluetooth that will drain the small battery inside if you don't use your bike often this will drain in a week so after a week when you press your power button on the bike you will face errors a lot of them and these errors are, are following because of this problem so what they've done in the last update and the fact that for me it took so long to realize the problem is because some people they use their bike daily or every three days and they don't have any issues There's only some other people that use their bikes every now and then for let's just say if you use your bike for 10 minutes today it doesn't have time to charge in 10 minutes this module the charger itself inside is a 500 milliamp charger so probably it will take about an hour to charge this module so if you use the bike 10 minutes it will charge just a bit and then you will leave it again for a week so slowly your module battery and i want to show you what i'm talking about so your module battery is 1000 milliamps so it will drain i'm not here to talk about if they did this on purpose or not i'm here not to put blame on them or on anybody else i'm here to talk about the problem that appeared after this update. So for you to remember and uh, to realize why you have a problem is 
because of that update. If you use your bike daily, you might not have any issue. But if you don't, this issue will be always present. So as always, I tried to find a solution because uh, if you don't have power from this battery, you will always face this problem. So I start trying to put uh, type C USB to the unit. Yeah, because is it doesn't have a USB port. So I fit one with the USB port, but still you have to remind yourself that before you start your bike, you have to plug the USB-C port and charge this module, which is a bit complicated because sometimes you just, you don't realize that it needs charging and you power the bike and you will have that error, 17 with six. In the past year, I did modifications. So the battery doesn't blow the fuse from module command. And this is good because you can do a hard reset and your bike will work again without blowing the fuse and having complications. But if you don't have the battery modification done, every time you power your bike, your fuse will blow and uh, errors appear. So my uh, USB-C port in the module is not a good idea. So what I've done, I found a way to bypass a small current that even if they did this update and the battery is in not standby, is hibernating, is not sending any signal to the bike, is like it's dead. Only the power button would power it. So I can do a small bypass to allow 0.1 amp current to pass in order for this battery inside the module to keep its charge and to be topped up. What this thing does, so even if you don't uh, use your bike, every month you need to recharge. If you don't recharge, also this will die. And you'll say why in a month will drain a battery. It will not drain a battery in a month, but it will slowly go flat because module have SIM card and Bluetooth that is always on. So it consumes power. So yes, I believe that you have problem with your bike because you done the update. And I'm sorry to tell you so late about this. And I just find out and I done a lot of uh, digging to find out. So basically I uh, put probes everywhere in the bike to see how it acts when it's off, when it's on. I had to basically run wires from the board, from the main, uh, from the module battery to probe it, to see when it's in standby, how it drains. So this thing took me about a week to see the battery draining and nothing is topping up the battery. So this is the problem you have. The solution is a small bypass that probably I'm going to sell and I'm going to do also repairs on it. So the bypass itself is a self recovery fuse with some resistors and the diode that will only allow 0.1 amp to pass for the charge purposes. So in case the battery has an issue, it will still rely on the battery management to function. So this is not something that will affect the safety. It will just bypass their update that ruined this thing. Maybe they done it on purpose or not, but this is what they done when they done the last update 1.9.3, they basically rewrite the firmware in the battery and the battery goes in hibernation once you turn off your bike. This is the video for today. Hopefully you understood something. I'm going to do continue to do repairs. And also, I don't recommend you to do this update, even if you have Anmufes five or even, I don't know, I'm, I, I haven't digged into the S6 to see if they put this update on and uh, how I never put my hands on uh, S6, but I have uh, an S5 and if you do the same update, you will do basically the same. And there is no way you can top up your 
module battery. If it was a USB port like an S2, you can plug the USB port into the bike, you top up your uh, module battery and everything will be fine. But as long there is not a USB port, you will face the bike will go dead, you will not charge, you will have errors, and this is following that update. I don't have a software solution, only VanMove can update software on their system. I only can find a solution hardware, means that I can bypass a low current that it will charge, despite their mistake, it will charge the module battery normally. So in this is volt, yeah, if you look here, 32 volt, 0.4 amp, and is charging this module here, yeah? So what I'm doing, I'm charging this module and check how much is taking power. So I can, I can put a perfect bypass to work. So this what I do for the last few days. I find out what I can do to fix this problem. Yeah, so thank you very much. We're gonna sort this problem ASAP. Thank you very much.